Welcome to our journey through the solar system. Fasten your seatbelts, because we're about to blast off on an epic adventure. Today, we'll explore the fascinating planets that orbit our Sun. From the scorching heat of Mercury to the icy depths of Neptune, we'll uncover the secrets of these celestial wonders. So, get ready to have your mind blown wide open because we're about to embark on a cosmic journey you won't soon forget. First up, we have Mercury, the smallest planet in our solar system and the closest to the Sun. Now, you might think that being close to the Sun would make Mercury a pleasant, tropical paradise, but you couldn't be more wrong. Mercury is absolutely scorched by the Sun's intense radiation. Imagine a place where temperatures can reach a mind-boggling 800 degrees Fahrenheit or 430 degrees Celsius during the day. That's hot enough to melt lead. But here's the kicker. On the dark side of Mercury, temperatures plummet to a frigid minus 290 degrees Fahrenheit or minus 180 degrees Celsius. Talk about extreme temperature swings. This dramatic temperature difference is because Mercury has a very thin atmosphere, practically non-existent. On Earth, our atmosphere acts like a blanket, trapping heat and distributing it around the planet. But Mercury's lack of a substantial atmosphere means that any heat from the Sun quickly radiates back into space as soon as the Sun sets. So, while Mercury might look like a rocky, barren world, don't be fooled by its desolate appearance. It's a planet of extremes with a fascinating story to tell. Next on our cosmic tour is Venus, often called Earth's twin because of their similar size and composition, but don't let that fool you. Venus is more like Earth's evil twin. While Earth is teeming with life, Venus is a toxic wasteland shrouded in a thick, choking atmosphere. Speaking of Venus's atmosphere, it's about 90 times denser than Earth's and it's composed mainly of carbon dioxide, a potent greenhouse gas. This thick atmosphere traps heat, making Venus the hottest planet in our solar system, with average temperatures around 900 degrees Fahrenheit or 462 degrees Celsius. And if the heat weren't enough, imagine the pressure. The atmospheric pressure on Venus is 92 times greater than Earth's, equivalent to being 3,000 feet beneath the ocean's surface. To put that in perspective, you'd be crushed like a tin can if you tried to walk on the surface of Venus. But what lies beneath this thick, toxic blanket of an atmosphere? Venus has a rocky surface covered in volcanoes, mountains and vast plains. Unfortunately, exploring the surface is incredibly challenging due to the extreme heat and pressure. It's like trying to explore the inside of a blast furnace. Now we arrive at our home sweet home, Earth. From space, Earth is a breathtaking sight, a swirling blue and green oasis in the vastness of space. It's the only planet we know of that harbors life, and that's what makes it so special. What makes Earth the perfect haven for life? Well, for starters, we have this wonderful thing called liquid water, which covers about 71% of Earth's surface. Water is essential for all known life forms, and Earth has it in abundance. Then there's our atmosphere, a delicate balance of nitrogen, oxygen and other trace gases that protects us from harmful solar radiation and regulates our climate. Unlike Venus's runaway greenhouse effect, Earth's atmosphere keeps temperatures relatively stable and comfortable for life to thrive. And let's not forget about Earth's magnetic field, an invisible shield that protects us from the sun's constant stream of charged particles known as the solar wind. Without our magnetic field, the solar wind would strip away our atmosphere and bombard the surface with harmful radiation, making life as we know it impossible. So the next time you look up at the night sky and see that pale blue dot, remember how precious and unique our home planet truly is? Mars, the red planet, beckons. Our next stop is Mars, the red planet, a celestial neighbor that has captured our imaginations for centuries and for good reason. Mars is the most Earth-like planet in our solar system and it holds the tantalizing possibility of having once harbored life or maybe even supporting it in the future. Now you might wonder why is Mars red? Well, it's all thanks to iron oxide, more commonly known as rust. Billions of years ago, Mars likely had liquid water on its surface, just like Earth. But over time, that water reacted with the iron-rich rocks, creating rust and giving Mars its distinctive reddish hue. Today, Mars is a cold, dry desert with a very thin atmosphere, but there's evidence of a much warmer and wetter past, with ancient riverbeds, lake beds, and even signs of a possible ancient ocean. 
Scientists believe that Mars may have once had a much thicker atmosphere that could have supported liquid water on its surface, and that's why Mars is a prime target for future human exploration. Imagine sending astronauts to Mars, exploring its ancient landscapes, searching for signs of past life, and maybe even setting up a permanent human presence on another planet. The possibilities are truly out of this world. Jupiter, the king of planets? Get ready to be amazed as we journey to Jupiter, the largest planet in our solar system. You could fit all the other planets inside Jupiter with room to spare. That's how massive it is. Jupiter is a gas giant, mostly made up of hydrogen and helium. One of Jupiter's most striking features is the Great Red Spot, a massive storm. This storm is so large that you could fit two Earths inside it. And let's not forget about Jupiter's moons, over 79 and counting. Saturn, the jewel of our solar system. Prepare to be dazzled as we approach Saturn, the ringed wonder of our solar system, a celestial masterpiece that never fails to inspire awe and wonder. Saturn's rings are truly a sight to behold, a breathtaking display of cosmic artistry. Now, you might be surprised to learn that Saturn's rings aren't solid structures, but rather countless particles of ice and rock, ranging in size from tiny grains of dust to massive chunks the size of houses. These particles are all orbiting Saturn in a delicate dance, creating the illusion of solid rings. But how did Saturn's rings form in the first place? Well, scientists believe that they may be remnants of a shattered moon or comet that got too close to Saturn and was torn apart by its powerful gravity. Over time, these fragments spread out and formed the rings we see today. And it's not just the rings that make Saturn so fascinating. Saturn is also a gas giant like Jupiter with a thick atmosphere composed mostly of hydrogen and helium. It's home to powerful storms and swirling winds that can reach speeds of up to 1100 miles per hour. But Saturn's moons are where things get really interesting. Saturn has over 80 moons, each with its own unique story to tell. Uranus the Sideways World. Fasten your seatbelts as we journey to Uranus, the ice giant that's tilted on its side a celestial oddball that's full of surprises. Unlike most planets in our solar system, which spin on an axis that's roughly perpendicular to their orbital plane, Uranus is tipped over on its side with its axis of rotation almost parallel to its orbit around the Sun. Imagine if Earth were tilted on its side like Uranus. We'd have extreme seasons that last for decades, with one pole bathed in constant sunlight for half the year while the other is plunged into darkness. Talk about a wild ride. Now, Uranus is an ice giant, which means it's mostly made up of icy materials like water, methane, and ammonia. But don't let the ice fool you. These materials are under such high pressure inside Uranus that they form a hot, dense fluid. And speaking of methane, that's what gives Uranus its distinctive blue-green color. Methane in Uranus's upper atmosphere absorbs red light from the sun, reflecting back the blue and green wavelengths, giving the planet its serene hue. Uranus also has a faint ring system, much fainter than Saturn's, but still fascinating. And let's not forget about Uranus's moons over 27 and counting. Neptune, the windy blue giant. Our final destination is Neptune, the farthest planet from the Sun, a realm of icy winds and deep blue mysteries. Neptune is a giant with a diameter four times larger than Earth's. It takes 165 Earth years to orbit the Sun. Neptune is an ice giant with a blue-green color due to methane. It's a dynamic and stormy world. Neptune has the fastest winds in our solar system, reaching 1,200 miles per hour. These winds create massive storms. The Great Dark Spot, a massive storm, was discovered by Voyager 2 in 1989. This storm could have swallowed Earth. Unlike Jupiter's Great Red Spot, Neptune's storm disappeared, showing its dynamic atmosphere. Neptune has a faint ring system and 14 known moons. Thanks for joining us on this cosmic adventure through our solar system. From the scorching surface of Mercury to the distant icy realm of Neptune, we've explored the wonders and mysteries of these celestial wanderers. Remember, there's still so much more to discover out there in the vast expanse of space. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more amazing space content. Keep looking up, keep asking questions, and never stop exploring the universe around us.